Good morning, we'll learn the Maimu Balischa Saneus, Maimu from the Alter Rebbe and the Kutta Torah. So, as usual, the Maimu starts with questions. The Pasha Balischa Saneus, the Gamer, when you light the candles, then it says, Pirash Rashi, Rashi says, Kshiro Aaron Chanukha Sanisim. Aaron saw all the Nesim bringing all the Korbanis, all the offerings. So he was a little bit despondent that he wasn't there, that he was not included in the dedication offerings. So Hashem says to him, Chayecho, Shilcho Godim Yishalayim. Don't worry, yours is greater than them. Why? Because you are going to light and prepare the candles. Prepare and light the candles. Right. Okay, that's the Midrash. Rashi brings it. Rashi says, that's what Rashi's, uh, Rashi says, but... Uh, so that's that's one thing. Love in there to understand this, we have to understand it's this whole union of Cholshu Daite. Another, another thing we have to understand, Gamma Shikosu it says in, 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 the, in this, in this with Pasha also, in chapter 11, uh, verse 22, it's in Atsin Uvoku Shochet The the flock and the cattle will be shechted for them, will be slaughtered for them. Malat mia, what is the wonder? Lech ba'elam shivim mumis seventy nations in the world. Ribo ribovis yeso, and they are. In terms of numbers, they are much greater. Misik. Uh, Mitaf Reish Ella from 600,000. So the question is like this. The Pasha tells us the complaint of the complaint of B'nai Israel. What was the complaint? They said, Me, Achilainu Basa, who will give us meat? We want beef. Okay? So. What does Moshe say to him in response to the request? He says, the 600,000 people, 600,000 feet of people that I'm within, and you're saying, give them meat. Where am I giving it? Where is the meat going to come from? How can I feed 600,000 people with meat? Okay? So the meaning of the Pasuk is that Moshe was wondering how can we find enough meat and fish to satisfy 600,000 people. And then he says that even all the meat and fish that is in the world is not sufficient for them. And it's a pella, it's a, it's a wondrous thing, because has a possible Moshe Rabbeinu would say such a thing, while we know that the whole world is much more than 600,000, and they have meat, and they eat. They have enough of them. Yeah. How come there's enough meat for everyone? The problem with the supply chain is that, you know, they always seem to have a big thing, and there was a virus, they said the supply chain was a food, but it didn't happen. Didn't happen. Right. right. I don't know where I don't see this. I don't know. It's just it seems to be something like that. Yeah. 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 So, ah, 
So we start of Balis Hasanosh, Rap Yosh Rashik, Shiror, or now and so the the dedication of Nasim, Chol Shodaite, he was somewhat uh, taken back that he wasn't there. He told them, Hashem responded to him, Shachol Gold and Mishalom, yours will be greater than theirs. And then we said, on the second issue is, Moshe Rabbeinu says, Atzenu Bokr Shachat Loim. Even if you shecht all the the flock and the meat, they're not going to be satisfied. It's not going to be enough. So we have to understand that the gamash nemal. Then it says afterwards, im is called gayo. If you take all the fish of the sea. So the question is, aleihem shalu boso. They ask for meat. What are you putting fish into the picture? Who's speaking about fish? They didn't ask for fish at all. Why, how did you come up with, with fish? What Moshe Rabbeinu is bringing into the, to the story fish? Ask you for meat, that's it. So, first of all, why is he thinking that it's impossible to have enough of them? And number two, why putting in fish? When you knew the back, the... You know, to understand that we have to preface Inyan Maisa, Kobosh, Shal Nesim. To understand what the whole story is connected to the Kobosh of the Nesim. The offering of the Nesim. She called Nasi El Shivtei Aledei Kobosh. Every Nasi was a representative for his tribe. But through the Kobosh, they elevated the tribe. Okay? Remember yeah, last week, Pasha, you read the... The uh, almost like redundant uh, type of uh, offering right the same uh, the same uh, offering 12 times, right? 12 times yeah so she called nosi but over here it tells us that every every nosi every prince elevated his tribe through his cobra Okay, Vainian. See Vainian? Yeah. Vainian, the Tzoruch Lovin, we need to understand. The Om was Al, Am Oretz, also Lechol Bos. So the Gemara Psachim 49b says, The Am Oretz, ignoranimous person, should not eat meat. Should be eating meat. You look at Psachim 49b, you'll see it. Maybe you got a cholesterol problem. Why? He says, what does it mean over here, Amor? It's also the Chobos of Dainu, Mipnei. The reason why you should be eating meat, Mipnei Shena Yochol, Lalis is Sabos. So he's incapable of elevating the meat. He's not. It's a shock. No, no, no. If the meat is going to make him more vulgar, more aggressive, uh, 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 and more. Okay. More arrogant. Bad midos. Yeah, it's going to intensify his, his midos, his negative midos, then it's, uh, it's a problem. The, say you, you are what you eat, is also has to do with the uh, quantities and, and the type of food. So people that their main diet is meat, it's, uh, they're not the, the most gentle people in the world. Let's put it that way. You see a very fine person eating steak every day. I, yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> the fine yeah. people are not. But anyway, so it says uh, um, that I'm always shouldn't be eating meat. Also, also, why? Because he's unable to elevate the meat. Cain, moving with Zesh, Odo, Milo, Magdes, and Milo. First of all, it's self understood that a person elevates food. Fine, if Nishodom go by Yesu. Because a person is a higher level, so he takes something that is lower than him, and that that thing that is lower than him becomes part of him. So now it's elevated. So you have a piece of cake, now the cake is part of you. The cake is learning Torah. You are the cake, is becomes becomes you, and that's it, it's elevated. Why are we a Gavoy Why we are higher? Because Shumadabu. So you, person is medaber. We are the speakers, 
and uh, we're the head for the inanimate, for the minerals, vegetation, and for the living, for the animals. But the point is that you can elevate if you are yourself refined. If you're not refined, then it's then it's difficult to, to elevate. Maybe it will drag you down. Uh, the Mittal Rebbe said that uh, to elevate meat, which is from the level of animal to the level of Adam, you need to be Adam. If you are able, if you yourself a level of animal, what did you do? Right. See, sometimes we call people, uh, uh, but the idea, something you tell, oh, he's a behemoth? Behemoth? Yeah. If he's a behemoth, needing a behemoth, what did we do? What did we accomplish? Behemoth stayed a behemoth. Right. What is Amor? If someone doesn't spend, spend some time thinking about the Gdula Hashem, the greatness of Hashem. It's like a Bema that doesn't have dust, it doesn't have any knowledge. So therefore he's, uh, he's not higher than the, than the animal and doesn't have the power to elevate it by his eating. And there's another source that sim seemingly implies the opposite. The Gemara Babakama 72a says, What was the tree that uh, Adam Marishan ate? It's chita, it was wheat. It was a tree then. Ilan Shaoh Halad Marishan, chita is a wheat. She not in Igdalik Ray of Vivi, Moya Chid and Tam Dog. As a baby is unable to call, to say Abba, Ima, Father, Mother, without first tasting, he has to first be able to eat grain, tam dog. Shows that a person receives das through wheat, through grain. Now we see another Gemara. Chen, same Gemma, but it says Chen This is a Babu Kamain based. the Which means that Rav Nachman himself said that by him eating the eating meat. His, his mind becomes clear and now you can speak about halacha and go into the depth of halacha and clarify uh, concepts in halacha. So, in one place it seems like the food is below us and we need to be able to elevate it to our level. When, uh, on the other hand, where it says that the tree that Adam ate was wheat, wheat tree, back then it was wheat, it was a tree, and he was able to say, to recognize Hashem, or to say, or, or a child can say, Abba, Ima, only when he eats grain. So it shows that the food is higher than the person, because it enables you to say something, enables you to be, now you can become a speaker through wheat, through grain. A baby would not be able to sit without eating dog, without eating the grain. So I will be kabbal das, where we receive the das from the chita, from the wheat. And then we see from Rav Nachman, what enabled him to, to clarify halacha, going to the depth of halacha, is meat. So what is it? Food is higher than, than us, or we are higher than the food? The Rebbe says, actually, both of them are true. We are higher than food, and food is higher than us. They're below us and above us at the same time. How does it work? The embassy is, the truth is, that we are higher than the the daimon, the tzimeach, and the chai, the inanimate vegetation, and the speaker, and the living, the animals. 
and therefore we are elevating them, we are eating them. But it's also Amis that they are, they are above us because they're giving us chayus. Without eating, we wouldn't have chayus. We don't have energy to, to do anything. So we are dependent on them in terms of energy, and they are dependent on us in terms of elevation. All the flavors of many vegetables and fruits and meats of animals, domestic and non-domestic, they are rooted in the world of Tayo. Atzilus is called the world of Budim. We know where it's come. You know where it's coming from. All these names, Akudim, Nekudim, Budim. It's coming from Yaakov Avinu made a, a deal with Lavan, and well, he yeah, said the stripes, and the, the the stripes uh, dotted, not dotted, right? How the so he speaks about it that it's, it's, it's referencing to different worlds. These names. So he says. Where is the oil matoyu? Oil matoyu is nikudim. Why is it nikudim? What does nikudim mean? Nikudim means dots. Right. Why is it called nikudim? Because in the world of uh, uh, in the world of toyu, right? The world of toyu, you have you don't have inclusion. So so you, you'll have if you always look at the spheroids, you'll see chesed, gevurah, tiferes, right? right? right. So that so the, the triangle is referring to inclusions, that they are although they are independent, but at the same time, but they work together with Gevura. So Chesed works with Gevura, Chochma works with Bina. But in the world of Toyu, everything is so intensified, so strong, right. that you have dot 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 dot. So so let's say uh, uh, Chochma is only Chochma, Bina is only Bina, and Chesed is by itself. Uh, and Gevur is by itself. They, they don't. They don't work together. It's a, a separate because Chesed is so much Chesed, and Gevur is so much Gevur. It's, they, it's they, probably a big trolling mixing all mixed up and lose everything. Lose so, around. So it says the opposite. It says in Tikkun it's the trolling because there is inclusion. Uh, okay. So so Chesed is compared with Gevur. Gevur is compared with Chesed. Okay. They are, they, but in the world of Toyu. It's chesed all out or gevua all out. Uh, they can't work together. It's uh, either me or you. Uh, Black and white. Uh, the gray is introduced to the world of tikkun, the world of refinement, uh, the world of correction. That's, that's the idea that Hashem said, I, I created the world with judgment. I saw the world, can I handle it? I introduced the rachamim. What is rachamim? What does rachamim have to do with it? it? You go to a judge and it says, the judge says, According to the law, you liable. But since there is an attribute of Rachamim, since mercy is, I have mercy on you, so therefore your punishment is not going to be so bad. It's not the MS, it's not per se the, the truth that has to be done. You're not dealing with the truth, it's not the truth over here. Rachamim is not necessarily the truth, but Hashem introduced Rachamim into the world of Tikkun. And the world of Torah doesn't exist. So it tells us the food is coming from why the food is higher than us, right? On one aspect, the food is higher than us. It says because the food comes from the world of Torah. We are coming from the world of Tikkun. Food is coming from the world of Nekudim, which is the world of Torah. We are coming from the world of Budim, the stripes. And the stripes is Atzilus. Atzilus is lower than, than uh, Toyu. Clearly, she'll my lama tzil shubudi. I know, kishir is kol achai. By the way, this why this is the reason why the breakage of the vessels took place. If you are just chesed or just gevur. And you try to give somebody. Either you break him, right. or, or you overwhelm him with something. Right. Either way, so it's it's too much. Because right. the clay, the the container, the taker is not 
is unable to take what you're giving. Whether it's chesed or gavur. It's like, uh, imagine you you either overwhelm somebody with compliments that he, he, he doesn't want to do with it, yeah. or you are, that he's thinking now is the, uh, the gift of the world and he uh, becomes uh, yeah, puffed up, right. or you give him such rebuke that you, break, you shatter him like, to pieces so he can't really function anymore because you, you said yeah. such destructive... <laughs> Uh, criticism, you understand? Like, uh, that's yeah. toyu. That's toyu. That you, that you have so much power. You have so much power in you that when you give, the, the you you shatter the whatever it is, whether it's good or bad, but you you break it. What is the root of all the chai, of all the animals, the cows, the, 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 the donkeys, the whole, everything? Where is it coming from? Sheresh kol achai, v'chal samar kov, it comes from the chariot. Pnei Arya, the image of the lion, u'mekir nefosh sacharis, that's the source of the of the chayos. Pnei Sher, u'mekir nefosh sabayimis, that's the source of the beimis. Pnei Nesha, u'mekir nefosh sacharis, and then the, and then the eagle. The eagle is the source of the birds. So the, the lion is the source of the non-domesticated. The ox is the source of the animals, the domesticated animals. And the eagle is the source of the birds. It says, Malakisa, uh, Marodo. The animals are the ones that are carrying the throne, the, the chair, and what what is on who is sitting on the throne? Kemare Odom, there is an image of men. You have the ten spheres of Atsilus that are associated with the word of Tikkun, Shiniskin, Rukhinas Pansafam, that were refined and, and fixed and repaired, so to speak. In the image of men. So although the animals are tachasakis, they are under the throne, right? But nevertheless, they have the power to elevate the chair. Seemingly, again, we are the Odom. The animals are the animals. And they are below us. Tachasakis. But they are the ones to carry the, the throne. They have the power to take you. That 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 translates to the energy that food gives you. Although it, uh, they are below you, therefore you are the one to elevate them. But they are, but they are giving you energy, and that, that, that that's what it means. They're carrying the throne. So we need to understand what is Mare Odom, what is an image of man that is on the throne, which is referring to the world of Atzilus, the world of Tikkun. So why not the Marshal say the Vadog is Ishtalshulus Vogado? So look at the at human being. Ramach Vogum Shasagi, two forty eight limbs, three sixty five sinews. Ksiro Aguf, Kumay Khenus Lavesha Nefesh. And the image of the body, the Nefesh is a Ksiro Aguf, the same way that the body comes into place. Or the image of the body, you have also the nefesh, mitlabesha nefesh. The soul is also enclosed in a similar fashion. The enclosement of the of the nefesh in the body, is being divided according to the image of the body. The brain, you have the thought, the intellect. Pehadibu, in the mouth of speech, Uvedaim, Krachmais, and the hands as the power of action. Zoshinik Odo, Ha'alaf, Ubichas Machshov, Uvedala Dibu, Mem, Maise. Aleph is Machshov, Dalad is Dibu, and Mem is Maise. Okay, so Aleph in Odo is referring to Machshov. Ho 
So we are we were created with two hundred forty eight limbs, three hundred sixty five sinews, and they're different. Each each limb, each sinew is different than the other. And that they're, they're also different in in importance. So the same way that it is in the limbs of the body. So the chayus and nefesh, the life of the nefesh, that is enclosed in the body. He gives chayus protis. He gives a, a specific energy according to the uh, limb that he that it's invested in. Meaning that it's a. If you if you take uh, imagine there's a body on the table, no, just to, and yeah, your job is to infuse life into that body. Like Frankenstein. You have you have two hundred forty eight limbs, two hundred sixty five yeah. sinews. Right. And you got to give life into them. So the same way that they are different in functionality, right? Yeah. Each limb is different, each sinew is different. The nephes that gives them life also has to give according to its, uh, to, to its each uniqueness. Each, each organ. Yeah, to each organ according to, it, to its functionality. All right. So the brain, it has to give one thing to the eyes, one thing right. to the ears, right. and so right. on. So that's why the, the word Odom is uh, letters that represents the different levels within the nefesh, the, the different enclosement of the nefesh. Aleph is the word Pele. If you take the word Aleph, it's Aleph Lamet Pei. Yeah. It's the, that's called the Milui. The Milui of an Aleph is Aleph Lamet Pei, which, which means Pele. It's a wonder. Pele. That's the machshava. It's something that we cannot see. I mean, it's covered up. It's being revealed outside of you. And where is it enclosed? In the moyach, in the brain, above all the all the other limbs. So that's why Aleph represents machshava because Aleph means pele. It's a wonder. Then the dalad represents dibu. It's enclosed in the in, in, in the mouth, below the, the the brain, below the head. And then you have mem, maisa, which is even lower. Let's stop over here. We'll continue by willing tomorrow.